There are many ways that an object can react to a magnetic field. Today we're going to focus on the three most prominent ways, ferromagnetism, diamagnetism, and paramagnetism. Ferromagnetism is what we usually think of when we think of a material being magnetic. Ferromagnetic materials have magnetic domains in them, where all the magnetic fields of the constituent particles are pointing in the same direction. When you introduce an external magnetic field, they all tend to align with it. Consequently, ferromagnetic materials are attracted to strong magnetic fields, and they can retain that magnetization when they are taken out of the magnetic field. Ferromagnetism is the easiest to demonstrate. Here are a bunch of steel nails. They are strongly attracted to magnetic fields. Now when we start off, these ferromagnetic materials do not contain any permanent magnetic field, but one can be induced by this magnet. Now, it does have its own magnetic field. Paramagnetic materials will have their inner magnetic fields align lightly with an external magnetic field. They'll be attracted a little bit, and when the external magnetic field is gone, it will lose all of its magnetization. Here we have a small piece of aluminum hanging from a string. You might think aluminum doesn't react to magnetic fields, but it is, in fact, paramagnetic. So it is very slightly attracted to this permanent magnet. You'll see it's swinging, and Lenz's law will reduce the damping, but after Lenz's law is done, it will be attracted to the magnet. Oxygen becomes a liquid at about 90 Kelvin. That's why we have to store it in these special insulated doers. Liquid oxygen has a beautiful blue hue. And is paramagnetic. You can pick it up with a magnet. Diamagnetic materials tend to repel outside magnetic fields. Any magnetic field induced in a diamagnetic material is in the opposite direction of the outside magnetic field. Here we have graphite. Graphite is diamagnetic. So when we bring the magnet in, it's going to be repelled. One of the interesting behaviors in diamagnetic materials is called diamagnetic levitation. Since this diamagnetic graphite is repelled by magnetic fields, placing it on top of an asymmetric magnetic field generated by these four magnets, it can float right above the center. <laughs> 